Anna Demmerich here, ra, ra, ra. good morning, I hope you're fine and well. I am feeling full of the joys of spring this morning because we finally got over to our summer house in Sweden at the weekend. I'll, I'll put some photos on at the end so you can see how fantastic it is. Um, I'm doing a, an old school style declutter here in Fly Lady's Own Sank today. I'm going to be decluttering uh, linens which is in that big chest of drawers there. The chest of drawers, that belonged to my uh, dearly departed Danish father-in-law. It's from, from the Danish side of the family. And in it, I keep, uh, it's great for storage. If you don't want to declutter what I'm decluttering today, maybe you want to take a look at something else in the zone. Uh, perhaps uh, you've got some books, reference books that are no longer <laughs> up to date. Uh, things that you're not going to read again, DVDs that you're not going to watch again. Uh, just take some time to have a look at those this week. I'm going to be your timer today and the usual rules apply. Make sure that you are dressed uh, for the day before you start. Uh, you know me, I've got my usual uniform on which is usually whoop, dark blue jeans or uh, navy trousers. A top and a blazer or a cardigan. If I don't have any pattern in my top then usually I will be wearing a necklace or a scarf. And, and get yourself set up with three bags or boxes. I've got these fly lady ones but ju just use whatever you have. One for give away, put away and the last one whoop, throw away. For me, that's uh, recycle. We, we put very few things into the rubbish or the trash. Uh, please, please recycle as much as you can. Anyway, uh, let's get on and let's get started. And we're just going to take one shelf or one drawer. Remember not to go taking out everything when you're decluttering. So I'm just going to remove the contents from here. I'll put them on the table and then let's sort them through them together. So everything is out of the drawer and this is what was inside. Table linens and table mats. Uh, serviettes, I stopped buying those oh, a couple of years ago now. So we're just working through what we have uh, and I prefer to use ones that uh, are made of uh, cloth or linen and just wash those as we go. And it's always fun to do this kind of thing because often you find things <laughs> that you forgot that you had. And remember, don't save things for a special occasion. Use, use your special table linens as much as possible. Paper napkins, as I said, stopped buying those a couple of years ago. So we're just working through uh, the stocks that we have. And I prefer to use linen ones or cotton ones these days that can be uh, rewashed. It's be better for the environment and blah, la 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 la. So, so those, are, those are staying. Table mats, I've actually got a set of four next door in the dining room. We do use those uh, occasionally. So I'm, I'm gonna keep those, but they'll, they'll be better in the other place. We look through the linens. This is a, a tablecloth that I made uh, last year as part of our Making the Most of May project. Just a, a length of material from Ikea and I quickly hemmed it. So, so that's definitely been kept. So that's a, a keeper. And this tablecloth, I've had it for years and years and years. It was a gift from my Danish um, mother-in-law, dearly departed mother-in-law. And it's got a kind of um, fancy coating on it. It's not waxed, but you know, it's kind of uh, stain repellent and liquid repellent. And it comes with its own uh, serviettes, uh, cloth ones, so I, I really like that and that, that's staying and I like the colours of that one. Very nice colours. Dressing your truth type one colours. <laughs> Perfect for me. Uh, and this is a tablecloth that I made again with material from Ikea and I use this one often for any kind of uh, Danish celebration or uh, quite often at Christmas because it's the colours of the Danish flag. Uh, Denebo, which is uh, red and white. So that gets to stay as well. So you're kind of seeing that in this palace is all kind of uh, Christmas in Danish stuff. Another one with the Danish uh, symbol, if you can just kind of see that there, of the hearts, which is a big Christmas symbol. Definitely keeping that. That, that was actually new for this year. It was something I treated myself to. And uh, this is one, gosh, I've had this since I used to work in Luxembourg in the uh, 19... 90s again it's got a kind of um great coating so that if if anything spills on it you can wipe it right off so that's another christmas one that that one i'm definitely keeping. 
too. Well, that's some serviettes that have ended up in the wrong pile. And this one, this belonged to family. This is a, a family heirloom. And again, you can see it's a Danish one with little hearts on it. They just love the hearts. And this one, this also came from family, but I haven't really used it. Um, and it is quite nice, but I think it's time to say goodbye to that one. And my husband, he didn't, he's not, you know, wanting to hold on to onto any of these um, family things. So it's really up to me whether I want to uh, keep them. But I think, I think that one can go, yeah. And, uh, yeah, not keen on that one. Okay, so that, that one is going to be a, a giveaway. And I'll probably take that to the next clothes swap party. The next one, uh, I've got some linen uh, serviettes here, uh, napkins, whatever you want to call them. So th those are to be kept. And these are placemats that we did have in the kitchen. But I think actually... I'll have a look next door because there may be four in the, the dining room. I, I think it's time for these ones to go. I can ask my son if he wants them for his flat. Or maybe my, my daughter, because my daughter, she'll be getting her own flat this year uh, when she starts university. Um, I, I'll ask them if they want them. And if not, again, those can go to the next close swap party. They are quite nice felt ones, but yeah. I'm, um, I, I, I'm not desperate to keep them. A yellow tablecloth. Uh, this is one that I got from a Swedish charity shop, and it's a kind of nice uh, egg yellow, and I like ones. So that, that's being kept. And, oh, here's another one that's kind of ended up in the wrong pile. This is another Christmassy style one with the, um, with the symbol of the heart, so that can go over there. And then I've got some of my uh, Easter linens. I'm keeping those. Chickens on them. It's a table runner. Oh, and more serviettes, more cloth uh, napkins. Oh, and this is another really good uh, yellow one, again, with the kind of coating on it that's um, stain resistant. So that's a keeper. And another one. Hmm, should I keep this? Actually, ham ho, ham ho. <laughs> I'm just thinking if I should take it to be used at our Swedish summer house. Yeah, I think that one's, I'm, I'm going to take it to the Swedish summer house because I've got plenty for using here. This one, this tablecloth, was a gift that we received when we got married. A Gera Jensen tablecloth. Now, we got married, let me see, <laughs> now, now I have to do the arithmetic, what was it, 23 years ago? Still going strong, this tablecloth. It's a Gera Jensen, um, you probably know the Gera Jensen brand. And it's one of those things, it's got, it's still got, uh, you know, it's got a lot of stains on it from use over the years, but we have used this tablecloth and loved it. And that's actually some of the, the fun things with the, the stains on it. We remember, oh, that was when Auntie so-and-so <laughs> spilt her red wine on it or somebody else spilt something else. And, and now when I set the table with this tablecloth and another one that we got when we got married, uh, you know, if you're worried about the stains, you can just artistically place like a little bloom of flowers or the salt and pepper on the stains. But, you know, I, I don't worry about the stains like that. I mean, that, that's part of our, our, our life, you know, all, all the fun, uh, fun get togethers that we've had with family and friends and people who have sat around the table. Right, oh, it's sounding a bit, uh, sounding very nostalgic this morning. Right, so that, that one's a definite keeper. And this is a plain white one with a scalloped edge. Again, probably 23 years old, 20 years old. So, so that's been kept. And we have a huge dining table with the two uh, wings that, that can be pulled out of it. And these are really huge, huge ones. And this one is another wedding gift that we got 23 years ago. Uh, and we got this from my uh, husband's side of the family. And I don't know if you can make it there. It's a slightly beige colour. And if you can see the figures there, it's the figures of uh, Hans Christian Andersen's fairy tales. And we've had a lot of discussions when we've had friends over and family. And like, oh, you know, which, which fairy tale is that? Uh, in Denmark, they call uh, Hans Christian Andersen Hose Anderson, his initials H C Anderson, and, and you say Hose Anderson, so almost like Jose, you know, the Spanish name Jose. You can see there we've got Little Mermaid, 
princess and the pea. So, so this is a, a, another one that we have a, a real connection with. Right, and I think we're done. I've got one which I'm going to put in my bag for the next time that we're over in Sweden at our summer house. These ones, I'm going to ask the kids if they want them. I can ask the kids about this one, but I, I doubt they will want to have this tablecloth. And that one will probably go to the clothes swap party. And these are a put away item in another room. And remember, once you've done your decluttering, set your timer again just for five minutes and get these things put away. Don't, don't, don't leave them lying out and be tripping over them. We're, that, that's why we're just taking one drawer or one shelf at a time so we can cope with it and then we can move on with the rest of our day. And remember that you can use the, the zone system not just for your, your cleaning and decluttering ideas. You can also use it for your self-care, for your gardening. I've got lots of ideas. Uh, I've got a whole section on my blog where you can look through it. But it's just a, a way to keep us ticking over, keep us motivated keeping it light and fresh. I'll roll some footage from Sweden at the end and all I've got left to say is live long prosper, may the Danish and Swedish hugo be with you. I'll see you very soon with a wrap, wrap, wrap.